Hello everyone. Welcome to the HSPF training by DSI. This is Anurag. We are on the video HSPF 620 reviewing the water quality parameters for land operations. So let's look at the UCI file that was created by WinHSPF. Actually the UCI file was created by Basins but WinHSPF actually parameterized the water quality uh, operations. So here is a UCI file. Let's uh, we all understand the structure of it. Let's look at the changes. Air temperature, snow, water, that's hydrology, sediment, soil temperature, gases and quality constituents are being simulated. So those flags are one. Now snow parameters have uh, the snow table are, tables are there. This is the elevation of each of the land operation. Sometimes you may have to go and change this uh, if uh, patients did not calculate these properly. These are uh, initial uh, snow parameter values, uh, different snow parameter. We are doing energies, uh, energy method in this case. So, so we have different parameters compared to degree day. Let's uh, move on to other parameters. Sediment. We have done that. That's just, these are soil temperature parameters. These are the parameters that relate to the air temperature to the ground temperatures. And V is that some of these parameters vary monthly. Initial air temperatures, initial temperature of uh, air and soil layer temperature. These are the water ga gas. Uh, again, these are these are the flags that say if the these variables are monthly or not. Dissolved oxygen, carbon dioxide, and uh, again this this elevation, initial values of the dissolved oxygen. These are the values of interflow dissolved oxygen of the interflow. Dissolved oxygen concentration of the groundwater flow, initial concentration. I think these are not the initial concentration, but uh, PWT palm two. This is the uh, concentration of DO and uh, if since in, in our case the value is changing monthly so this uh, value doesn't matter this value will be used. Now end calls number of quality constituents. So these are the constituents that will be simulated on the surface using accumulation deposition and runoff and we are simulating five of those the first one is fecal coliform. Now if you see the pattern this kind of table call props call input will be repeated five times for each constituent. So let's look at those. This is the name of the constituent fecal coliform. This is the quantity ID ORG and that's a unit you could have any unit. You, uh, sometimes we like to use 10 to the power 9 or 10 to the power 6 as quantity ID because we want to be able to simulate more uh, higher number especially in case of uh, bacteria. QSD if it is associated with sediment, QSO is if it's dissolved in water and V is again variable monthly and if it is uh, it changes monthly. So ACQOP, these things can change monthly or not. But these the same parameters will be used down here, but uh, they will change monthly. Basically, ACQOP is the amount of constituent fecal coliform that can deposit on the surface with the unit of quantity, which is number of organism here, per acre for every day this is the limit that it can go to so for example if 100 organisms are depositing on the surface every day 
and if the limit is thousand and so the number of organisms will not go above thousand if it, if it does not rain so it will just that's the asymptotic limit and it will stop at there and WSQOP is the rate at which 90% of the constituent and this fecal coliform in this case would uh, flow out. Again, it's a calibration parameter. This is the concentration of constituent in the interflow and active groundwater. Then you'll see that monacum repeated here. This is the accumulation every month. So instead of ACQOP, if you want it to change every month, you have to do v VQO and provide this table. This is column again, the asymptotic limit monthly. Concentration in groundwater, uh, interflow, concentration in groundwater. Now what happens is, as I was saying earlier, that if I had the unit already 10 to the power 9, then I would be able to use uh, smaller numbers. So for example, e to the power 4, e to the power 6, these are pretty high number. So I'll be able to use smaller number if my original unit of that quantity is too high. Second quality constituent. Now there's no number to say it's a second or not. So you have to remember it or you have to go back and look at it. So second quality constituent is ammonia. Ammonia is again dissolved in water. Everything else in the, is a similar pattern. Then nitrate is the third one, similar pattern, but you have to go and look at it to know that if it's, a, it's a third constituent. Orthophosphorus, unit is pounds. It's not associated with sediment in this case, although some of the models that I have calibrated, we have used QSD of one, and then we have used POTFW uh, value how much of this constituent can attach to the sediment per, uh, per unit sediment. So this is where I've used QSD of one many times before. And we have used a QSD of one and QS of zero. Again, same exact pattern. Then it's BOD that is organics. Organics on the surface, same unit, but these organics, when they go into the water, they can be converted into organic nitrogen, organic phosphorus, organic carbon, and DOD. And that we'll see later on. So this is how the parameterization is done on the land surface. And the impervious land has exactly same, um, same, same kind of tables. So we will uh, uh, skip the impervious land. And the next video, we'll look at the reaches operations quickly. Thank you.